Yo, 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 so recording RT star is once again in the media, granted for the same viral interview which she conducted with Night Nightly Fix podcast. This time around, she is viral for the statement which she made uh, when asked why did she break up with dancehall artist Lincoln Tree Dot. She responded by saying, she did not break up with Link Country that, however, Link Country that broke up with her because he found out that they were cousins. No, both of them had been in, in a relationship for over a year, you know what I mean, having sex, you know what I mean, they were very vocal about their sex life and, you know what I mean, telling the fans what they do in the bedroom, from Kulinagos to, you know, too much information, you know what I mean, and so... For the fans to know here that after they revealed so much things about their bedroom to them that they are actually cousins, it really paints a messy image in your mind, you know what I mean? As they would say, you know what I mean? You feel like your entire childhood was was destroyed, you know? But in this case, it's not your childhood, it is, it's your adulthood, you know? Because you were so accustomed to hear these two on the internet oh we did this in the bedroom we did this in the bedroom we did that in the bedroom only to find out that they were in fact blood relatives you know what i mean some persons are saying that uh, they should they should have stayed together because they were already together get for a long time and therefore at this point it wouldn't make any sense for them to break up you know what i mean while others are saying i mean break up you know because you know incestuous relationships can bring forth on um, children that are not healthy you know what i mean if you would recall in the primitive days you know what i mean before technology was and biology was at this point bio, bi biological research was at this point you know what i mean the royal families used to have a lot of deformed babies you know what i mean many kings were deformed and uh, many queens princes and princesses they were were born with um, physical ailments due to the fact that cousins were getting married to cousins uncles to aunts brothers to sisters and so forth and i mean and so the genes was too strong and many persons didn't live long lives and those who did live for a while they were of course deformed you know what i mean and so some persons are saying well i would not advise you two to be together you know speaking of um star and long lincoln through that you know what i mean because that is not something healthy you know what i mean but it's just weird you know um could this happen to you? You know what I mean? Yes, I think it could happen to anybody because, like, especially in the society where we're living now, where you have a lot, lot of deadbeat fathers, you know what I mean? And deadbeat moms as well, you know what I mean? Some men don't even take the opportunity to get to know their children, and then that woman moves on. In some cases, she might give that child's name to the new guy or give it to or uh, give the child her own surname, you know what I mean? So the child wouldn't have a surname that reflects the biological father. And in cases like that, you know what I mean, 10, 15 years on the line, you know what I mean, a, gener a generation removed, you may find out that you're dating someone that is related to you. You know what I mean? And then when push comes to shove and then people start meeting people and names start get thrown around and people start getting introduced to other people, then you start to realize that, hey, this person is actually my cousin. You know what I mean? So, it's definitely something that can happen to anyone, you know what I mean? Something similar almost happened to me back in the day, you know what I mean? My great-great-grandfather, he was living in an area and he moved from the area because, you know, he got into some trouble and he was, you know, on the run. So, he was basically hiding to, to change his, um, his identity. And so, he changed his name and moved to a particular area and had children there. And that area happened to be a place where my other relatives moved to in close prox proximity, but they did not know that this was where my great-great-great-grandfather lived, you know what I mean? And so, you know, the children that came from his uh, end started to, you know, take a liking to children from our end, only to find out 
you know, that we were actually family members all along, you know. So it's definitely something that can happen, you know. So I'm glad to see the end of this relationship because, you know, nobody wants to have children that are not well off, you know what I mean? And I believe children that are not children that are not healthy don't want to be born that way in the first place, you know. So if you can avoid bringing children like those in the world who can't help themselves and, you know, can't fend for themselves, you know what I mean, and you knowingly, can prevent this then do the right thing and i mean and don't allow your genes or your hormones to lead you to copulate and bring children you know that are you know are sick into the world you know what i mean so much respect to lincoln tree that and star for being strong enough to end the relationship before producing children that are sick you know what i mean i'm out